Hello everyone, I'm Sergey with a daily overview of the latest news for the last 24 hours. Today, Russian Federation celebrates Victory Day. Over the past 10 years, this holiday has gained a lot of popularity and has become a main holiday of the country. Now that patriots have been told that they are once again at war with the Nazis, but now in Ukraine. And Putin's rhetoric on this parade as always, that it was a West that started the military conflict and that the Ukrainian people have become a hostage and a coin in the hand of West. By the way, I have several acquaintances from Russia, and some of them are pro-Putin's says that Ukraine made a wrong choice. But I immediately told them to shut their mouth, because far from the war, lying on the couch, you can think well, idiot. Most of them know everything about Europe and United States. And yes, more than you, even if you are from United States. And many of them think they are experts on the subject. And at the same time, they are absolutely don't notice what is happening under their noses. And when I ask them, what are Russian tanks, aviation and missiles doing in Ukraine, they again refer to the West and trying to explain something to me. And you know, I even try to be on their side and try to answer on this question. But it was impossible because I really couldn't found a reason why their weapons are doing here. Well, actually, we can talk about it either very much or very little. There are only two options. But better not, it's almost impossible to change a person's opinion. Okay, let's move on to the frontline map. The situation in Bakhmut remains tense. There are some reports of intense fighting and advances by Russian forces in different areas of the city. Wagner captured the post office and launched a massive push from the northwestern flank of the city. They are attacking the Olympic school area and fighting around a street on the southern side. This is today's video in which we see a small group of Ukrainian soldiers and the total destruction of infrastructure in the city. This city is definitely go down in history as a fortress for the Ukrainian side and the city that suffered great losses for the Russian side. Also reported that Wagner had some success at crossing some buildings. The aim is to force Ukrainian forces to retreat from the citadel area, which would make their task much easier. The Wagner group is cleaning out the gray zone in neighboring areas. But it is early to confirm any advances on the citadel area. The Ukrainian forces are finding it difficult to stay at the same places. As we already saw, Russian used glide bombs that is causing the Ukrainian forces to rethink their strategy. Another video from the city. We see that even religious objects come under fire. In few hours later, another video appeared where absolutely nothing was left of it. Unfortunately, it was completely destroyed. Well, the situation in Bakhmut remains extremely grave. Ukrainian commanders have decided to hold part of the city at the end, on the rest of the front line without any significant changes. Well, indeed, right now the fighting is going on only in Bakhmut. In other parts of the front line, it is like everything frozen before a major counteroffensive. The operation will involve Ukrainian troops backed by international alias and set to begin in very near future and territorial integrity in the face of continued Russian aggression. The counteroffensive will involve a wide range of forces, including infantry, artillery and special forces in a bid to restore Ukrainian control over the region. The counteroffensive will be a major test for Ukraine and it will be a difficult and dangerous operation. However, Ukraine is determined to succeed in its mission and committed to protecting its people and its sovereignty. While the Ukrainian government, Ukrainians in general and me personally are confident that its operation will be successful. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I will continue to monitor the situation in Ukraine. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to not miss next updates. Have a great day. Bye-bye.